Hello everyone and welcome to Next Day Solar. Today we are in South London installing on a really lovely property, 24 panels across three different aspects of roof. We've got a southwest pitch roof, southeast pitch roof and a flat roof on the kitchen extension to install onto. Uh, we've also got 20 kilowatts of Fox battery storage along with a 10 kilowatt three phase Fox inverter. Um, this is giving the customer loads of battery storage to both use during the cheaper night rate and for storing excess solar. We're also installing a backup plug onto the inverter to allow the customer to keep power supplies during a power out and make sure, in this case, that his um, fish tanks can stay online. There's a lot to get through, so let's begin. We are on the southeast facing roof of the property and as you can see here we have different profiles uh, for the brackets. Here this one is uh, designed for a uh, landscape panel and this is going to be a uh, portrait panel. And uh, yeah, as you can see the guys are working hard to finish this roof today. And at the same time we install the brackets on the southwest facing roof. So like on the other side, we put the brackets and the rails into the pitch roof here and now we're just measuring up to put these two portrait panels in on top of this dormer. Um, and as you can see, even though it's February, we have really great sunshine on this roof, so once the panels are on, it's going to be a really great site for generation. Okay, so on the electrical side of things, we have the Fox three phase 10 kilowatt inverter over there and here we have the Fox Energy Cube there high voltage, top of the range um, battery. And we've got four units with the BMS, so that's making it 20 kilowatts of battery storage. It's gonna be really great for the summer months in particular to store all the solar generated, but also for charging overnight. The customer has a night rate of electricity, which can be you know, 10p, uh, 15p per kilowatt, so much cheaper than the day rate. And if they're charging up over, overnight, then they can be using that cheaper electricity during the day. So it's good for the grid doing this, uh, using electricity when these people are using it, and it's also great for the customer to make some savings. Everyone. We're starting with day two of the installation. Yesterday we finished by getting all the brackets in place and testing all the panels. So it's a bit of a tight run, but it's just a case of getting the panels up onto each section of the roof and then fitting them onto both the pitch roof and the flat roof. So we've hung the inverter, it's a 10 kilowatt inverter, um, Fox three phase inverter. And then we've got all the AC electrical uh, components housed in the one main box here. Uh, we've got the surge protection, main switch, main isolating switch, and then the various fuses for one surge protection, two for the actual PV itself, and then for the CT, which is gonna monitor the grid so that the battery can be managed and the flows of energy can be managed. And when we've completed the installation, the last thing we'll do is connect to the EPS, which is emergency power supply, and we're going to be connecting a dedicated RCD socket um, so that this customer can keep his 
Aquarium's all carrying on in a power cut so the fish don't suffer. Okay, so this is the southwestern aspect of the roof and it's quite a tricky thing we're doing here. We've got two individual panels in portraits over there. We've also got panels on the flat roof above me. And then we have two landscape down below me and another portrait on the right over here. Uh, so really trying to maximise the system with seven panels while keeping it visually pleasing. So we are finished installing all the panels. We've got the southwestern face here on one string, which is this pitch roof face here, this flat roof behind me, and on the second string we've then got the southeastern face on the other pitch roof I just showed you. Um, so two strings, two separate facing systems with optimizers making sure the shading from some of the chimneys and dormers isn't too much of a problem. Well, yeah, we're just finishing up on all the cabling and that's all there is left to do. So the optimizers themselves, they communicate to each other. However, uh, then communicating to this box, but this box have to hardwire it down where all the main components are. All that's left to do is check that the system is working tomorrow morning. Um, so all done here for today. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you like this installation, please let us know. And if you would like one of your own, uh, please head over to nextdaysolo.co.uk and fill in our installation questionnaire. Uh, thank you very much for watching.